Friday. It's Friday, February 21st, and this is Citrus TV Now. It is currently 30 degrees and sunny. I'm Lilia Wood, and here are today's top stories. DPS is investigating another bias incident on the mound. Homophobic graffiti was discovered in a restroom on the fourth floor of Day Hall. The report was made to DPS officers around midnight. This is the 27th bias incident on or near SU's campus since November 7th. Today is not again SU's deadline for the resignation of Chancellor Kent Sugarud, Senior Vice President for Enrollment and Student Experience Dolan Ivanovich, DPS Chief Bobby Molinato, and D Deputy DPS Chief John Sardino. However, university officials have not addressed the protesters' demands for their official resignation. Instead, they have been stopping by Krause Hines to talk to the protesters. Chancellor Sugarud told Not Again SU this morning that he will find out who made the decision to not allow food into Krause Hines while the building was closed. When are you gonna figure out who did it? When am I gonna get back to you on that? Yeah. Right. Uh, probably uh, over the weekend. So oh, wow. by Monday yes. we will figure out who did it. Yes. <laughs> And overseas, two people have died and over 200 have been infected with the coronavirus in South Korea. Cases in the country have skyrocketed over the last few days. The South Korean government has reported 100 cases today alone. There have been 75,000 cases in China and over 2,000 deaths. And coming up on Citrus TV News Live at 6, Citrus TV reporter Ricky Serra will be in studio to break down the disagreement between administration and the Not Again SU protesters regarding food access. And that's all we have for you today on Citrus TV Now. Make sure to follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook at Citrus TV News. I'm Lily Wood. Have a great weekend, Syracuse.